In this tutorial, I'm going to go over some of the basics of analyzing the general social survey in SPSS. I've opened the data set right now, and I'm in the variable view, which can be obtained by clicking on the tab at the lower left. You can also see the data view, which is generally not all that useful. Each row, you should know, indicates a different person's set of responses, and each column a different variable. If I look at the variable view, the name of the variable is what the program uses to understand what you're talking about. Uh, you always have to refer to variables with their name indicated in this column here. Then you have, um, really, you only have to pay attention to a few of these columns. The width tells you how big the variable is on the screen. Um, the number of decimal places can sometimes be important, but usually you don't have to pay attention to that. The label should be something that makes sense. The values tell you, in many cases, they're translating numbers into values. So, for example, to take the variable a, b, any, which is um, based on people's responses to question um, should it be legal for a woman to have an abortion if she wants one for any reason? If I click on the three dots here, you can see that the values for this variable are 0, 1, 2, 8, and 9, and they refer to different responses. IAP means that they didn't, um, weren't asked the question in the first place. 1 is yes, 2 no, 8 is don't know, and 9 is NA or I'm not appropriate for that person, or in this case, it's probably no answer. Now, um, you should pay attention to these values and value labels because that's going to have a big impact on what you can get from tables and charts. In the missing column, this tells you values that are missing or values that um, basically don't don't have any meaning for the analysis. In this case, um, there are some missing values. Missing values are, again, values that don't mean anything for the analysis, which would include IAP or 0, 8, don't know, and 9, no answer. But these actually aren't declared as missing. So if, my, if I'm interested in this variable A, B, N, E, the first thing I need to do is to create a new syntax file. Really, you should have one syntax file that you use for all of your analysis. And what I can do is um, I can declare missing values for A, B, A. Remember, there's 0, 8, and 9. When I do that, I highlight it and run it. In the output, it just echoes back what you wrote in. But if I go back to the variable view now, it's entered 0, 8, and 9 into the missing column. And what does that tell you? That tells you that it's not going to treat 0, 8, and 9 as actual values. It's going to just ignore them in the analysis, which is really what you want. So one of the first things you should know is that if there are missing values that haven't been declared for whatever reason, you need to declare them to make sure that um, they're ignored in the analysis. Another thing um, that's helpful is to change the settings in order to include values and value labels in the table. Let me back up to, in order to show you how this works. The very the most basic command is frequencies to see how many people are in each category. If I put frequencies on A, B, N, E, In the output screen, I can see that missings have been excluded. Remember, focus on the valid percent. So what does this tell you? There were 11,796 respondents who said yes to this question, that abortion should be legal. And there were 17,000 uh, who said abortion should not be legal if a woman wants one for any reason. And the percentages that you want to focus on are, are in the valid percent column. The percent column here, this 
includes missing, which you don't want. So focus on valid percent. So what does this say? That for about 40% of people said that yes, abortion should be legal if a woman wants one for any reason. Now, if we wanted to, we could have the table output the values one and two in addition to the labels yes and no. In order to do that, that's sometimes useful. We go to edit options. Click on the Output Labels tab, and in the Pivot Table, Labeling, I check Values and Labels, click OK. Now I can rerun the same frequencies, and I get about the same table except that 1 and 2 have been added in. This can be helpful for um, if you need to do further coding.